Welcome back to the laggiest zoo you've ever seen. Lag, 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 lag. And she's not that bad at the moment. Maybe the new update sort of helped with the lag a little bit. Let's find out. Oh gosh. Although it's not as bad, it's not great. Oh dear. So today, we're gonna be working on that Asian area. And most importantly, I wanna get this blooming boat ride up and running. I built all these buildings for them and they are looking quite nice and cute, but they're not being used at the moment because they've got no power and they've got nowhere to go. So the boats just get stuck here, as you can see, with nobody on them. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a bridge across one of these places here. I'm not sure where. I think we might have multiple bridges going across and we'll just work out where our path's going to go. And then we're going to put in some Siberian tigers that was voted for by you guys and it's been a while since I've done like a little update on how things are going like we've got so many animals now like look this is all our animals <laughs> okay a bit too many our staff quite a lot of them as well you ready Whoa. Okay, we've got 68 vendors alone, 26 mechanics, 27 keepers. It's a bit crazy. We're scraping by on a profit. The Asian area and all these new employees are kind of eating into our profit right now. We got money in the bank though, so don't worry about us. We're doing fine. And I'm just wondering where I should put these Siberian tigers. I've only ever done Bengal tigers before, I think, although I can't remember. But Siberian tigers, they don't take up that much space, I guess. And you can only have two of them. So we don't need a huge area. Area. And we need to make it really nice and humane so we don't get Carol Baskin knocking on our door. And I think we're just going to make this island here the cold Asia island, which I think there's only two animals. The other ones being the Japanese macaques, who are adorable. I guess we could put black bears over here as well. They're not in a snowy area, but they are Asia. So we could probably fit three animals in here. And then we'll leave this island over here for our India section, which is like technically Asia, but it's like a bit separate design and stuff. So let's work on these bridges and we're gonna work on the path first and get all this sorted out. So a simple bridge over like that, obviously we're gonna make this look nicer. We need to work on this bridge as well. I forgot about this one. This one over here is looking good, but these ones are looking terrible. And I might add another bridge in just over here, like so. So we'll have to link those up at some point, but not yet, because I am lazy. So let's put the tigers at this end and we'll give them a load of space. I'll probably sort out the path a bit more, have it maybe going round, but a smaller path. We'll have this path come back round here like so. I've just realized I've messed up because I need to leave space for this queue. Make a nice circle here like so and join this up and then have another path coming off here. Maybe have something in the middle there. I'm not entirely sure what yet. And then we can make this queue a little bit better. There we go, that's more space. And then we'll have the exit there like that. And the idea is we're gonna have like some li a little path come off here and surround the tiger enclosure. But now we have to link these up. This is stressing me out. I'm not normally used to playing so far in advance. I just sort of wing it as I go along. Okay, that looks pretty smooth. You know what? I'm just gonna add the path in and then I'm gonna build around it at a later date. There it is. That's our path. Deal with it. Actually, I'm the one who has to deal with it. Oh, no. I'm going to have to make this queue better as well. All right. I think every one of those is linked up now. These are still unpowered, but everything else is linked, which means we just add some power in. And you know what? Normally, I use the transformers, but today we're using solar panels. And we're going to put them here, right near the exit, because this is the new and improved me. And I think we could probably have like a little staff area over here somewhere. Although, do I need it if this one's close? Maybe a little small one with like some keeper huts and stuff. Right, we're just going deep underground here, up in the length, going under the water. This is going to be a long trip for this mechanic underground. <laughs> but maybe we can link up with this path over here somehow. Yes, it's linked. All right, so that links to that staircase. Gosh, what a long, horrible journey, but <laughs> it has to be done. Around here somewhere is the other boathouse. Let's see if we can put a power unit in underground. Have I put this in the right place? Let's find out. No, nowhere near. Oh dear. You know what? I can find the path underground. Here, this'll do. Right, and you want it just at the end of that tunnel there. This is horrible. But push this out, facing this way. And then if we look on the map, yes. Oh, it's in the perfect place. Is it disturbing any guests? No, of course it's not. What a beautiful power placement. This is the new meta. And now we can hire a couple of mechanics who have the horrible job of looking after these things. We'll name this one Mum, because I've run out of names. And we'll name the other one Dad. Okay, and now we should, yeah, the boat is open. I'm going to click play, speed it up. Let's see if some people actually start using these things. 
Whoa, where are you going, guys? Come back, come back, go down the boat, go on the boat. All right, we're gonna have a multiple amount of carts. We'll put the max speed up to eight miles per hour. We got some people coming. Okay. Oh, I forgot we're on franchise mode. Oh, blooming puff adders. Facilities have significant effect on guests. What is this? I didn't realize that was there. That kind of needs to be there. Maybe we could put it underground. Oh, we'll just deal with that another time. Too lazy, let's have a look at our boats. Look, they're all moving around. Ooh, lots of people coming over. Nice. Does that mean our Asia area is fro- No, there's still barely anyone here. Anyone donated to the Red Pandas, $120. That is abysmal. You compare that, because we're in November, to like this thing over here, 4,600. What about these ones? 5,000, you see what I mean? These are the ones that are bringing in the money. 10,000, the Red Pandas are brought in $120. So of these guys, about the actual pandas, $20. Oh my gosh. Please bring some people over. Oh yes, look at all these people. They must be coming to visit, visit Asia. Oh, it's probably because they're waiting at the other stations and no one's probably getting on. Let me mess around with this for a bit. All right, I think I've got it working. I think it was broken down, but all the boats, are, what is this on about? What has escaped? How, how is this out? Why do animals just teleport through walls? All right, the boats are picking up the people. Let's see if they get off here and start looking at the zoo. So many animals are inbreeding and you know what? I've stopped caring. Okay, please, please get off the boat. Get off the boat. Lots of people. I want to see people piling out of these boats. No one's got off. Why have you stayed on, you fools? Where are you going? Why is no one... Why is no one getting off? Where are they going to be get off? Are they just staying on the boat all the way around? I, I'm very confused. Oh, well. Let's get building our Siberian tiger enclosure. I've just given up on how the NPCs work in this game. Every time I unpause this franchise, I just get more stressed out at them all. All right, let's do a time lapse because I've been rambling way too long. So I didn't actually check this, but I think they can't escape if you put like a little water's edge around here. Can tigers swim? I I'm not sure. I looked at some tiger enclosures in real life and it looked like they can't get in the water if it's out there but we'll see we might have tigers on the loose uh, which will be a shame so let's just hope that this works because if not we're gonna have to put something else in here maybe our japanese macaques would go in here because i spent a, a long time playing through rocks like seriously the rocks took about 40 minutes to place or something crazy it's just really hard to get like a neat edge and to make it look good without making it also look incredibly repetitive and i did struggle a bit and it's still not perfect i would love it to be just smooth but instead you can't have that you got those jaggedy bits or you have to do the rocks yourself and this was also quite a bit of space as well so it took up a lot of area but we got it done in the end we also added in some one-way glass which is also like not the grade that it needs to be to keep these tigers in so they could break out through there as well but i don't think they can reach it. there's a little gap in between it with some rocks so they can't actually get to it so let's hope that it doesn't get broken into and i wanted to make this like quite a unique looking enclosure so i added in some decoration made all this sort of stuff up myself put some gold funny things on top there which i thought looked quite cool and i've been doing a lot of like building stuff in the other asia area so i thought with this part here we're going to make it look a bit more natural more sort of like you know just grassy stuff around the edges and not so built up as you can see it's just got water around the edges but I did have to make some hard shelter which is this building which I made right here it's kind of like an octagon but at the same time it's got like the curved inner walls I thought it looked quite cool quite a funky design and it should be plenty of hard shelter for our two tigers that we are getting in here I did buy two tigers I think one is actually a white Siberian tiger and the other is orange I'm not sure if it's an albino but I think it's just a white Siberian tiger I, I i'm not entirely sure but hopefully they should have some fun different types of babies together and then right at the end i made this little board here for our screens i like to make these custom ones every now and then i thought this one looked pretty cool and fit in very nicely with the theme these challenges are so funny it's like earn a yearly donation profit of two hundred and seven thousand or more and they give you a thousand dollars for that Oh, thank you. Wow. But here it is from up above. Hopefully another animal in this vicinity will get some more people to this area because honestly, it's crazy how like heaving Africa is and the winter section is like there's constantly people here looking at these animals. But the Asian section is just empty. There's like barely any people and it's making me sad. Although 
It is slowly increasing. But anyway, the enclosure is looking fun. We're going to actually add some trees in in a second just around the water's edge. Make it look all nice and neat. Hopefully people get off the boat here and come and have a look. Although they're not getting off the boat here, so I'm not sure why they get off the boat over here just to see this one animal. But people may. You never know. You never know. A man can dream. I'm not sure if both our tigers are in yet, but here's one of them. Vasila. Oh, look, the other one's just arriving in the door. But this one's called Vasilsa. It's our female. And here's the beast of the male is about to appear. Oh, look at that big box. Oh, he is a tank. <laughs> Let's just check, right? Can these guys escape the moment of truth? Okay, it looks like the water's low enough down that they can't, which is great. And is there enough space for them both in here? Yes, we're good, we're good. So we don't need to replace these guys with monkeys as they'll be fine. Oh, I've got an unclaimed reward from here. I didn't even know I'd done anything. What did I get? Some new trousers. I've got like this big blank section here next to these bridges. I feel like if I put something here, like an animal, it would lure people over to this area a bit more because they'd be like, oh, we're here. We may as well head over this weird long bridge, which is floating in midair to get to this island. But I don't know what would really fit there. I could maybe add like llamas or something because we don't actually have a South American section. So we could just have those ones slotted around in different places. So that could work quite cool there. But anyway, like I said, let's add some greenery around the edge here. We're gonna do another tiny little time lapse. It won't be long, showing me adding in these trees. So this ended up taking about 25 minutes or so because I was just messing around with too many trees, trying to add in some bushes. It was surprisingly tricky because it's such a thin, narrow area. I couldn't add many thick plants in there. So instead I had to add loads of little tiny trees, lots of little flowers and stuff, plus some rocks and just try to make it fill out. I think this whole island bit here is gonna be quite natural. There's gonna be a lot of trees around, not many buildings, as I said earlier. Although I probably should add like a shop or some restaurants or something like that because people will complain like they always do because the NPCs are very whiny. And even though this is only on medium difficulty, they still hate me and I hate them. I'm just kidding, I don't actually hate them. Please come into my zoo still. And you may have noticed, I've gone back to the old Smallish Zoo series here. We have just started the new series. I will be working on that again and adding in some cool, fun stuff. But for now, we are working on this zoo. We're gonna kind of like alternate the weeks, I think. So one series one week, one series the other week. We'll see how it goes. But as you can see here, I also added in a fence all the way around, placed it all individually and it ended up looking okay. Bit glitchy through some of the flowers and stuff. I might have to adjust those slightly, but to be honest, people won't really notice. So I'll just not because I'm super lazy. And yeah, it ended up looking pretty cool. Some benches, some bins, everything you need. And voila, that area is now looking very nice and overgrown. The trees just make everything look good, don't they? I think this area here would look a lot better if I just added in a bit more greenery as at the moment, there's just a lot of grass. We don't like grass here. Is that a baby panda? Is that a full grown panda? That's a full grown panda, it's 14 years old. Don't know why I thought it was young. There's some people on the bridge here. Where did they come from? They come from this boat. Interesting, so they're getting off at this station and walking to the pandas. No one's getting off at this station still though. But yeah, that's a lot of progress today. We got all this path laid out. Why, why have you got off over here? You've gone the worst possible people, the, the NPC. What is this? There's just a bit of staff path floating here. Yeah, the, the NPCs just, I, they're just, ridiculous in this game. But either way, our Siberian tigers, they're happy. I'm happy. Our boat's up and running. I think we're going to add some llamas in here next time and also just make this place look a bit nicer as at the moment there's just a lot of green areas and that's not okay. All right. It's not. But that's it for this episode of Planet Zoo. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe to this second channel as we're hoping to reach 100,000. That'd be awesome. And I shall see you another time. Goodbye.